Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are talking about menu content again on FIFA 20 Ultimate Team today, specifically how to grind the 82 to 88 upgrades in order to get Icon Moments packs and the 83 plus packs. I'm gonna take you through what I think is the best way to use your coins most efficiently right now to grind some of these, these upgrade packs to try to pack some team of the season cards, maybe a team of the year, or just to grind other SBCs inside of the menus right, right now. Like EA, thank you EA for giving us this content. There's finally something to do with cards that are in packs. They added those last Friday. They added these upgrade SBCs on Sunday. And now we have stuff to do inside of the game. So if you're looking to make the best usage of your coins, I think there's a way to do that with the 82 to 88 upgrade, the icon moments upgrade, and the 83 plus upgrades together. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that today from start to finish and as well talk about the content that we got yesterday as well with two new showdown SBCs and more Champions League content possibly coming today and then also talk about some packs we haven't seen yet that we're still kind of looking forward to. So again, how am I grinding these SBCs right now? Right now I've been I just started sat down and said, "Hey, I want to make some 82 to 88s because I want to get the higher rated packs and I want to do them cheaper and still have a chance to pack something uh, good from the 82 to 88 because there's a lot of special cards in packs right now. This is the actual set right here again, the preseason best of cards, a lot of team of the seasons, uh, foot birthdays, future stars, headliners, uh, scream cards, even shapeshifters, team of the years and winter refreshes, 251 special items in packs at the moment. And this makes upgrade packs very fun, very OP, especially for just crafting um, these SBCs that have 83, 84, 85, 86 rated squads, whatever SBCs you're trying to do. A lot of these upgrade packs are very good for crafting those right now. So it all stems from this pack right here, the 82 to 88 rated rare player. I know a lot of you guys want to pack team of the seasons. A lot of you guys want to try to pack a team of the year or just crank through upgrade packs but you don't like the 82 to 88 because it, it, it has a rating cap, right? You want to do the 81 double and the 80 plus double because those to you, you're like, yo, this has no rating cap on it. That means I can pack team of the seasons, 99 rated, you know, even some of the 95 rated, right? Let's look at it in a different way. Just because you're going to be able to get more coin value out of these 82 to 88s and sending those players you get from those into other packs. So I'm going to talk about that a little bit right now we're going to do that on footbin we're going to start off here as well just taking a look at the price points the 82 to 88 upgrade it says on footbin that it costs six thousand coins it actually costs less than that because you need seven golds and the rest you can fill in with silvers or bronzes from your club so i'm going to talk about that the icon moments upgrades 381,000 coins and the double 83 is 80,000 coins now a lot of you guys are like yo why would i craft into the 83 plus they're op all right if you didn't watch my video from yesterday go check that out we opened like 10 of them and got five team of the season cards out of 10 83 plus packs so at least give them a shot anyways how i'm crafting these sbcs is um i'm buying cards a few at a time i'm doing some for my club still but i'll show you how, how i just did this next set um but i'm basically just clearing out my club of silvers and bronzes and then buying the uh, non-rare golds, because the non-rare golds are so much cheaper right now than the rare golds. That's why this 82 to 88 upgrade SBC has uh, its perks, in my opinion. So what I just did before recording this video is I went out and I bought a bunch of Spanish common gold players and filled up my club, right? Boom, I just bought a bunch of them. Now I'm, I'm searching inside of my club, gold commons by Spain, rating low to high, getting those low rated non-rares to come up right away. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go put seven of them in the squad right away. We only need 45 chemistry for this squad that I'm about to, to make up. I'm gonna put one extra in. Uh, we only need 45 chemistry, so it's not that big of a deal in terms of chemistry. Uh, if you're buying cards off the market, uh, if you're buying non-rares like I did here, you don't really have to worry about buying certain players because you're gonna get that chemistry very very easy. So boom, there's my seven non-rare goals that I bought off the market. All these guys were bought at 500 coins a piece. Uh, honestly, if I go and show you these buy prices, 500 coins for all of these cards, they're very easy. You don't have to snipe them. So basically what I spent here was 1,000, 2,000. I spent 3,500 coins buying these players right here. And then a lot of us probably still have either bronzes or silvers. Now I've already used all my bronzes. So I have to go to my silvers 
And what I'm gonna do in my club is just put in random silvers that I have untradeable, that I'm not gonna use in any league SBCs. Uh, maybe try to find a couple different like links or since I've already got a lot of chemistry with my Spanish cards that are in the, in the club or in the squad, I don't really have to worry too much about chemistry, but I'm gonna put in my four silvers, bang, center back, goalkeeper, we'll do this. Maybe I'll switch those. Uh, I'm, I'm well, well high enough on chemistry. So boom, just like that right there, I spent 3,500 coins to do one 82 to 88 upgrade and use the rest of these cards from the club. If you don't have any silvers or bronzes in your club, just go open bronze packs, do BPM, and you'll get you know two to three bronze cards on average per pack. And you know, you'll get some packs where you get five or you know, four or five, six bronze cards. And it's cheaper to do that than actually going and buying the bronzes or silvers uh, yourself. So just do BPM if you need to fill up your club with some bronzes. But honestly, 3,500 coins and using some other uh, cards from the club. Let's do some quick math, right? I spent 3,500 coins doing that SBC. How much does an 81 double upgrade cost? It says it costs 17,000 coins. I can, in fact, tell you that it actually costs about 20,000 coins. Um, because what happens is people, there's so many people doing these SBCs right now. It says that it's 17 K, but it's actually not because, uh, those prices are actually fluctuating a lot. And it says the cheapest SBC solution costs 17 K. But when you actually go and try to buy those players, it'll be around 20,000 coins to do an 81 plus double same price for the 80 plus upgrade. Cause they have basically the same requirements, but again, 20,000 coins for one SBC, what gets you one 81 double upgrade. I just spent 3,500 on an 82 to 88. So again, I can at least do, uh, like five, I can do almost five or six of these 82 to 88 upgrades for the same price that I can do an 81 double plus. Seriously, I would say five is a good guesstimate. Five 82 to 88 upgrades for one 81 double plus. And you think about it right there, if you do an 81 double plus, you're getting two rare gold players. If you do an 82 to 88, you're only getting one. But if you can do five of those versus one of these, that's five players versus two. So, uh, and of course you're getting an 82 or higher. And that is really, really nice because then that enables us to go into even a more OP upgrade pack, right? 83 rated squad is the requirement for the 83 double plus SBC. This one right here. And this one's actually been pretty, you know, overpowered from what I've seen. This is giving out a lot of team of the season. So this is 83 rated with 60 chemistry. So, you know, you're, you might have to struggle with some, some chemistry a little bit, maybe buy one or two players at the very most, the very least. But what I would do is maybe stack yourself up, maybe spend 50, 60, 70,000 coins. If you had those facilities on these 82 to 88 rated rare player packs, Get your 83s, 84s. Maybe you hit an 87 or an 88. That is the type of pack that you could put into an Icon Moments SBC. But I'm going to open these five really fast and kind of get going through it and just talk you through what I would do if I would craft these five SBCs and then turn them in. Because again, this is like the grind right now that you can do. Wow, these are not treating me very well. Last night when I did a few of these, I hit mostly 83s. I was getting boards almost every pack. It's not looking so hot right now. Um, all we need those like one or two boards out of the set of five. If it's a high enough rated, that's a walkout. Okay. Spanish center attacking mid Isco David Silva. Bang. There we go. The retired David Silva. Uh, well, I think he went to Villa Real or Villa, somewhere. He, he got transferred. I think today. Anyways, 88 rated boom boys right there. I just did five of these packs and I get an 88 rated in the third one. That's huge. That's huge. And that is the potential that you have with these 82 to 88s. Getting a card like that, that is instant SBC fodder that you can put into another SBC. We get boards again. We go uh, French center mid, 83 rated Toliso, Bayern. That's great links, French links. So boom, I'm feeling pretty good because of that David Silva. If I get one more 83 or an 84, I would be very, very happy with this set of five 82 to 88 packs. It's a board. What's it going to be? Not a special, but it's just a board. French again. Don't be a dupe. Goalkeeper. Who's this? Rufier. So that's 84 rated. Boom. 84 rated Rufier. So we got an 84. We got two 82s, an 83, an 84, and an 88, right? Most times you're not going to get an 88 from a set of five, but that's perfect for the example that I want to show you again, right? So I'm going to use those 82s and the 83s in this double 83 upgrade SBC. That's where I'm going to use it, right? I'm gonna use those cards into this SBC 
right here, which I probably don't have enough in my club right now to actually show you um, that I'm going to complete this SBC. But if you look at the cards that I also got, right? Savage, Aliso, Torreya, and uh, Rufier. These four guys that I got right here, I'm going to put all four of these and somehow formulate them into this SBC, try to get 60 chemistry out of it. And I think I'll be able to get that with a couple more packs because uh, I got some good links here, right? I got major leagues. I got uh, the Bundesliga. I got the French nationality. I got a Premier League card. So I'm off to a good start here doing this 83 double upgrade. And then what I'm going to do with my David Silva is I'm going to go ahead and take him into an icon moments upgrade SBC. I'm going to throw him into the 86 rated squad and just put him in here. And that's basically the grind that you can do with these packs. And it's totally worth it in my opinion because you get to rip packs constantly. You're constantly ripping packs and you can hit cards like this 88 rated out of that 82 to 88 SBC pretty easily. There's even a few cards that are in that 88 rated range, like St. Maxim and Flip Birthday, who was still in packs that you could get. And then bang, you're sitting pretty good. So that would be my recommendation. If you're trying to just craft packs right now on the menus, this that's the most coin efficient way to do it. Just because you can spam this SBC for like three to 4,000 coins a pop. And then, um, you know, have 83 pluses to open and you're crafting icon moments upgrades at the same time. Now I understand some people want to hit the 80 pluses and hit the 81 double pluses. Just do whichever one's better for your account, right? Some people's accounts do better with other packs. You know, my, my account is really good with the 81 pluses. I haven't had good luck with the 80 pluses yet. Um, but that's just something that you can kind of try out on your account. I just like these cause they're so much cheaper and you can craft them and get the stuff out of these packs, put them into the other upgrades and continue and continue to spam these and then you'll eventually craft these packs from doing that. So that's kind of the method that I'm going to be doing. You go, you got, you got 25 days, right? These upgrade packs are out for 25 days and these cards are in packs for 25 days. So time, you, you have time, like you have plenty of time to do this. These cards are going to be out for a while. All of these upgrade SBCs are out for at least 20 days. I think the icon moments pack is out for only 20. Now, the only thing is if you would rather craft one of these uh, UCL showdown SBCs, then you might want to do that instead. 82 rated squad or 83 rated squad for Forsberg. I might end up instead of doing an 83 plus craft one of these because this goes away because this game is today. PSG is playing against Leipzig today. Champions League action on a Tuesday. It's pretty hype. So I'm excited for that game. PSG most likely going to win. I think that we can all agree on that. But we're not going to a 95 would be sick. I'm still kind of hoping that Leipzig can somehow pull it off. This guy goes to a 96. I'm going to at least complete Forsberg. Maybe I'll complete Bernard as well. We'll see. Um, that's a cheap 92 rated card regardless. Um, you know, if you're crafting it through the 82 to 88 SBCs, you're going to spend a lot less than what you would on a 92 rated card on the market. And now moving into talking more about these SBCs in Champions League today, right? Jason Denayer and Arp. John Fete Arp. This is a guy... Today, when EA Sports tweeted this out and they said, hey, Champions League showdown, these two players, I was like, who in the world is this guy? But did a little bit of research, right? He's a youngster in the Bayern second team, actually. He's had a couple appearances, not actually in the league for Bayern, the main team, but he played against Spurs in the Audi Cup, which I, I said something about that on Twitter today in my tweet. Um, he scored one goal for Bayern, and that was actually against Tottenham Hotspur, my team. So... Uh, this is interesting because this ARP card, th this guy is actually not named to the UCL squad for Bayern, but instead EA has still given him an SBC. And, you know, I understand some people don't like that he's getting an SBC card, uh, even though he's not named to the squad. I understand that, but it's also kind of cool, right? We're getting different players. We've never had a special card for this kind of dude. It's almost like a a future stars type SBC at this stage of the year. So I'm not mad about it. I don't mind it. Maybe some Bayern fans are not super pumped because maybe they wanted another Alfonso Davies or another, um, you know, th there's other cars that we could have gotten that um, from Bayern, maybe like a Thomas Muller. Well, he already has a team in the season. So I think why they went with this ARP card is because, you know, there's so many Bayern special cards already that has the team of the seasons or like Paris, such as the summer heat. That's why they went with this one. No, this card is a 95 rated item if he gets a plus three, four star, four star, high medium. The card looks cracked. 99 agility, 99 balance with 97 strength, 95 finishing, six foot, high medium again, four star, four star. His base card is three star, three star, so that's a dub. So I'm kind of rooting for Byron in this one. I'm probably going to get this SPC completed. I think it's an 83. 
84 rated squad, so it's almost the same requirements as Forsberg and Bernat. And then also Denayer, if Olympic Lyon can get the W here, this card would be sick as well as a 95. So that was the new content that was actually released a little bit late, released a little bit late yesterday on foot. Uh, just to talk through a few more things. Memphis Depay's Road to the Final. Did this get upgraded? I think they upgraded Goretzka's. They did. So they upgraded um, Depay's card to a 93. And Goretzka is now a 93 as well. So if you guys had any of these Road to the Final items, they now have gotten upgraded. Goretzka is 250k. And that is cracked out. Again, if they win their next game, this Goretzka is going to go to a 94. If they advance to the Final... This Goreshka goes to a 94 and has the potential to be a club 90 card on FIFA Ultimate Team. Now, let me see how much supply there is on this dude. Pretty sure his price max is 280. Wow, it's actually 260, I think. He is almost extinct. So if EA do not update his price range, he is going to go extinct at 260,000 coins. So if they updated him, they probably updated Kingsley Coman as well. Kingsley Coman is, wow, 180,000 coins, 93 rated item crazy looking stats 99 pace 93 shots so the road to the final items did get upgraded tonight um and you're probably going to see more of those updates come through sarabia is a 95 as well let's take a look at this on footbin sarabia is a 95 with some nice looking stats as well this has the potential to get another upgrade of course after two days game so that's pretty interesting they have not upgraded uh carlos yet so this is an upgrade we're still waiting on we have not got this one upgraded. I guess um, Marquinhos got upgraded as well. He's now 93 after he was a 92 um, before this set of upgrades. So just watch out for some of the stuff that's going to be um, getting the boosts sometime soon. A lot of people are still asking about the 89 five rare players pack. When is that going to be coming out? I wish I knew, boys, because that SBC is definitely going to cause some market movements. A lot of people are going to want to do that SBC some people have asked me, should I invest in high rated SBC fodder for this? In my opinion, I think that, you know, stuff is really, really expensive right now. But you know what? When that 89 plus does come out, whenever that is, or the 89 five rare gold pack, that's going to be an SBC that everybody wants to do. So honestly, if there's some cards that are out of packs that are showing up uh, or even in packs, right? The cheapest players by rating. If we look at some of these cards, you know, the cards that have good nationalities with good chemistry for, for uh, these SBCs. This Eggstein card was 39,000 coins before he got put back into packs as SBC fodder was just flying up in price. That might not be a good reference for where some cards are like normally at. So Pjanic doesn't have any special cards in packs right now. He's 24,000 coins himself, but he was 35,000 coins uh, last weekend before we had the before we had the pack weight upped. I think when EA put all these new cards into packs, they upped the pack weight overall because a lot of stuff has kind of dropped since then. And of course, with the upgrade packs, there's been less of a, you know, you don't need to buy as many of these cards off the market because people are doing upgrade packs instead. Uh, and that's evident by the rare golds on the market being as high as they are. But if you want to look at some of this stuff, again, good nations, good links. Um, some of this stuff will bounce for sure, especially center backs, right backs like this Florenzi, uh, 25K for this card. I know he's in packs right now, um, but we're not getting a ton of tradable supply. So this is the type of guy that, you know, I might get a little bit interested in if an 89 SBC does come. If you see it come out, maybe what you can do is you can go on the market, look at the requirements really fast and buy up some SBC fodder um, because, you know, I don't think we're getting tradable supply. Did we get a UCL or a UEL halftime SBC today? We did. And it was an untradable 50K pack. Interesting. So, um, if we get tradable halftime challenges, I don't know if any of these have been tradable, but uh, wow, 95 chemistry for this SBC. I wonder how much that costs. But if we get tradable pack supply, that's the only thing right now that I would be worried about dropping some of the fodder prices on the market. Um, but again, you're going to kind of have to take a gamble with that because that if that tradable pack supply SBC does come, it would come after the 6 p.m. content time when the 89 five rare players pack would get released. So you probably would have a window when that 89 plus pack does get released. You could actually go onto the market. Whoa, that halftime SBC, this one right here. Flippin says that that halftime SBC cost 40,000 coins to complete. Imagine paying 40K for a 50,000 coin pack, untradeable. 
So uh, that's kind of a scam. Probably not a lot of people are talking about that, but just be on the lookout for that today. All right. I just wanted to bring you guys this video because so many people have been asking me how to, how can I do upgrade packs right now? This is the way to do it. In my opinion, run the 82 to 88, rinse it in the 83 plus and the icon moments upgrade. You can just spam those 82 to 88s over and over and over. And then just, you know, if you want to do any of these uh, champions league showdowns, get in on those very soon. Of course they are expiring soon. Those games are coming up very quickly this week and those cards are going to get upgraded to a plus three um, very soon, honestly. So this would be an SBC. If you did ARP, I would assume that by the weekend league, uh, this dude would probably be upgraded, um, to a 95 rated if Bayern do win. So usually it takes him about 24 hours, 36 hours to upgrade the card after that. So he'll be upgraded pretty soon. If that's something that strikes your fancy. So a little bit of a longer video, but I wanted to talk through everything in detail with you guys today. If you enjoyed it, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the food accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.